So I've been using GIMP 10 point, oh, what is it? 2.10.24 since it came out. But now I am going to upgrade or well, maybe downgrade, depends on uh, the state it's in, to GIMP 2.99, whatever happens to be the latest version of that. So that's here, development download. So 2.99.6. So this is the development version. It's not stable, but we're gonna give it a try. Uh, download game directly is my preference. Let's see. Get her going. Five minutes left. Six minutes left. Make up your mind for. Okay, now we're downloading. Yay! Looks like it's done. So. Let's just, uh. Go over to our downloads folder. Here it is. Let's just run this real quick. Uh, I'm probably gonna speed up the boring bits for you, but this might take a hot second. There we go. Install for all users, install for me, uh, who cares? Everybody gets access to GIMP 2.99 today. Do, 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 do. This is a development version of GIMP. Okay, yes, we're English. Yes, is this, oh my. Yep, make, proving its point. So apparently it's on gitlab.gnome.org. Continue, continue. Don't know why. Uh, stop it. Stop it. We've got two instances. Uh, yes. Stop it. Okay. Uh, customize. What do we have here? Okay, we've got the license. That's the path it will be installed to. Yep. Oh, it has Lua scripting. Did not know that. Yay. Create desktop icon, why not? Okay. Yeah, install whatever those are. There we go. Finish. Okay. You show desktop icons. Where'd it go? Ah, all the way up here. Yay. Hey guys, let's hop in. Ah yes, the good old terminal. I do like the smaller loading bar on the bottom. That looks a lot nicer. Failed to execute child. Yes, I think we've all failed to do so at some point in our lives. Hmm. Well, this is a bit different. Um, not sure why it comes out of the box with the uh, channels dialog floating, but this mode feels a bit different. Like, it's, it's not quite the same dark mode as, um, 2.10.22 oh that's that's cool the scroll bars change color when you click on them that's nice that that's kind of annoying how the there's the like icon border and it's not the same size as the layers but I'll live with it tabs position top bottom what's this oh that's weird. I, I'm definitely not gonna change that, but let's see here. 
Now that would be a very convenient if you were doing batch editing. So going through a bunch of stuff at once. All right, left. I would prefer it on the right, but I really like. Since I generally only work with one document at a time, I'll keep it on top for now. Let's see, what does this have in store for us? Ooh, I like these toggles. That toggle is so satisfying. Show grid, oh my goodness. Um, I'm just gonna not enable that. What would be very nice is if we had a CYMK. If we could work natively with CYMK. That would be so much nicer. But as of right now, we've just got RGB, grayscale, and indexed. You, you see, without the... Uh, Without the little colored icons on the side, it's going to be a lot harder to find what you're looking for. Like, Merge Down used to have some little white lines with a yellow-orange down arrow. Duplicate had two blue squares, new layer group, blue folder. New From Visible had an eye or something. New Layer had, like, file icon like, like this or something. It needs something right here, at least a shape, preferably color icons. I don't know if that that's planned or not, but yeah, it needs it. So that's about all I was really going to do with it today. So, bye. Oh, there goes the... Huh. Still living. With us in spirit. With us in terminal. <laughs> oh, that sounds so morbid.